beautiful people, I am Cassidy Amber Chapman and I'm doing a series on my first year as a digital nomad. So last we talked about Dubai and now we'll be getting into Turkey. So this is the first country that I just felt like going and I had no connections to anybody, no idea the language. And just not like no connection at all. This is the first place I didn't know anybody. That is kind of crazy. First, first country I didn't have a friend. <laughs> um, or have some kind of community I already connected to. So I get off the plane in t from Dubai to Turkey. And <laughs> what was really funny it was when I was going through customs. The guy looked at me and he was like, this isn't you. I was like, he was looking at my passport and he was like, this isn't you. I mean, I know I've lost a lot of weight since the pa the picture in the photo, but he like wouldn't let me in the country because he goes, this isn't you. I'm like, this is me. I promise. I promise that's me. And uh, it's interesting because in Dubai, I also had an issue with, um, with, uh, the there was a face recognition thing and you put the the passport and it recognizes your face and it usually works but it didn't there and so i had to do the in-person one now this guy was convinced this is not you i was like i know i had a glow up but don't be that mean <laughs> i had a glow up okay i don't look the same as i did when i was 18 i promise there was just a glow up i lost a little weight and it's okay <laughs> and so he had to literally get his manager because he was like, I don't believe that this is you. I said, I promise it's me. And uh, <laughs> the manager comes over and she goes like, first of all, they only speak Turkish, like barely any English. She goes, she goes, you lost weight. I was like, I've lost like at least 50 pounds. And she's like, she obviously didn't understand what I was saying, but I just was like, Yes, I've lost weight. <laughs> and so they finally let me in. And the guy like, looked mad suspicious when, when, when he was stamping it. He was like, no, I don't think this is this girl. <laughs> I don't think this is. It was really funny. He was how suspicious he looked because he was like, that's not you. He was convinced that was not me. So I was like, damn, well, <laughs> I know there was a glow, up, but I mean, I'm not two different people. It's still, it's still me. And uh, that was really funny coming into the country, but I was a little nerve wracking. And then coming out of the plane, I really felt like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. So I know I, I bash myself about my Spanish a lot and I'm really down on myself sometimes about Spanish because it's taken me a very long time to get to the level I'm at. I don't feel like I, you know, you can always feel like you can be further. But then being in Turkey has made me realize I know Spanish. <laughs> I know Spanish <laughs> because I don't know Turkish. That's for sure. I can get around. Yes, yeah, sometimes I don't understand everything in Spanish. A lot of times I don't understand a lot what's going on in Spanish. Um, but I can get around Turkish. I don't understand a thing I don't understand a thing and I can't even honestly to be able to say thank you has taken me probably four weeks and it's to Zekulad <laughs> to me that did not get through for a while and I still don't even need I'm gonna I'm gonna embarrass myself right now I still don't even understand how to say hello okay so that's and when someone told me how what's how have a good day in one ear out the other and this that that didn't stick i can promise you that but it is such a different language than everything i've ever learned or heard that it's it, yeah i was terrified at this point now i'm shaking because also the the taxi to be able to get to my airbnb is And so I'm like, they're like, yeah, you can take the Metro for like basically a dollar. I thought about it. I was, I was literally walking back from the Metro to, to, uh, the taxi station. Cause I was like, what do I do? 
And also I bought a very expensive SIM, SIM card. That was the first country that I got a very expensive SIM card, like the touristy SIM cards, which usually I get some kind of local to help me get a SIM card for most of the countries. Oh yes, that's another thing. SIM cards, you can figure it out. Most people wanna help you out. Um, and it's usually very cheap. The US is ridiculous with phone plans, I've learned. Oh my God, it's astronomically different pricing. Anyways. So, uh, I, <laughs> I get a really expensive SIM card and I'm walking back and forth and now it's been a couple of hours. I got some, I got a meal in between walking back and forth because I'm just scared. Y'all people call me brave all the time and I am brave, but that only means it's because I'm terrified. <laughs> I just, I do it anyways, even though I'm scared. Um, and so I finally just picked going to a taxi of course i get i get gouged crazy i i didn't care i was like as long as i'm safe you know i i'll just because i really felt like the metro i just it wasn't gonna be a good idea i just i just had a feeling especially with my bags and all of my valuables so i was like okay let me just grab the expensive taxi whatever and i finally get to the place now i'm feeling i just looking around what i'm experiencing it feels more dangerous than latin america I was convinced this place is way more dangerous than Latin America. Convinced. I mean, I, I, it was just, that was, that was in my head. I was like, this place feels more, feels more unsafe than Latin America. Because everyone talks about how unsafe it is. But I was like, this, I feel, I feel like I'm in danger here. And so I finally get here. And of course, the place that I am staying at somehow, some way is a digital nomad house. A digital nomad house. So I get checked in. First of all, I'm struggling to find where the place is, but I finally find the place. I get inside. Now I'm exhausted. I, <laughs> the Boston came out. Um, <laughs> I'm really exhausted. And, um, and I, get checked in and I literally ask for my room to be ready earlier because I was ready to just knock out. Just, it was, it was gonna be over. And it was, as soon as I got, I got into the room, it was over. I was so exhausted. Especially with the worrying for hours about whether or not to take the Metro or the taxi. And you may be thinking, Cassie, why didn't you just take the taxi in the first place? You got, you, I don't think you understand. When you're in a new country by yourself, you don't know if you're going to make the right decision. Just give me a break. <laughs> I was scared. So uh, once I get out of, once I get to the space, I'm going to sleep. I get a bunch of text messages from people in the, so this is like, a, it's a digital nomad house. So you have a room, but there's a shared kitchen. And, uh, I'm getting a bunch of text messages. Hey, Cassidy, welcome. Like, so happy you're here. Want to go out for drinks? The first night I met alone in a country I've never been in. With language I never, un I don't understand at all. I'm already, I'm, the first night I get here, I am invited out to drinks. I don't know, y'all, I, I don't even feel like a solo traveler because I somehow, I'm just protected. I'm divinely protected. That's for sure. Like I, I don't get it. But anyways, I was like, guys, I'm. I need to sleep for a couple days, and that's exactly what I did. I was sleeping, working, sleeping, working, sleeping, working, <laughs> and then after a couple days, I finally went out and about. Now I'm a little bit scared, but as soon as I get downstairs, I meet so many people, and they're inviting me. Want to go to dinner? Want to do this? Want to do that? Want to go explore over here? Every time I went downstairs, there was somebody asking if I wanted to do something with them. I said, is this my life? Cause I kind of like it. <laughs> I was feeling it. Um, and it's just been wonderful. I, I, there was not a moment. I, anytime I really need anything or I want to go anywhere, someone wants to go with me. There was literally one time I went alone. One. And I am currently in Turkey recording this, but you won't get this until I will be in Boston. Ha ha ha.
I know where I'm going to go next and you don't. <laughs> but I will, I will, uh, I'm recording this in Turkey. But it has been incredible. Like it felt, and honestly, I understand why I felt so much in danger beforehand, which was because, uh, I didn't know the language. It was a culture I'd never been in before. It was a space that I didn't know. A lot of times when we don't know something, we perceive it as really a lot more dangerous. Yes, Latin America may be more dangerous. Yeah, but uh, I'm used to it. <laughs> I, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. I can speak more of the language. I can understand when someone's saying not, so, so, not something so good, you know, but when we don't know something is when we fear it the most. And it just made me think about when we fear people, when we fear so many, so many things that people do that we just don't understand or we don't know, we fear it. And it, it's just made me such a more compassionate person to realize every time I, I learn something, it's not that scary. It's not that bad. So, and another thing is, is I really haven't, explored uh mosques or things like that but since i've been here i've been to the most incredible beautiful mosques and oh my god just oh i've they there's some of the art in the handcrafted art it's just mind-blowing how beautiful some of the mosques here are the different landmarks oh getting around here you take a ferry I love a boat as we talked about before oh I forgot to talk about the boat in Cartagena and well anyways when I was in Colombia in Cartagena I was on a boat I love boats so being able to just take a ferry a one dollar ferry anybody anywhere I want to go <laughs> chef's kiss so I uh I loved loved being able to take ferries to wherever I needed to go, super cheap, super relaxing. I love it so much. And the sun sets here, of course, just like anywhere else. Oh, it's just been so nourishing. I've met so many incredible friends that I will have for a lifetime. And I, I just, I wish I could tell the, myself the years ago you, like all the fears that I had were really false were really really false I was afraid of being alone you can always make new friends once you start getting into the habit of making new friends you could do it anywhere also you just find events you find groups you find group chats there's people on earth are always looking for friends and are really welcoming to new friends um but we'll we'll create a, a ending video I'll I'll, I'll get there <laughs> But in Turkey, I mean, I've gone to, we've done a lot of karaoke, which has been a lot of fun. <laughs> karaoke has been so much fun. We do karaoke into the nighttime. We'll be all talking until 3 a.m. I mean, of course I'm working too. So there's the times that I'm working and uh, everyone seems to love the food here. Maybe it's because I eat super healthy and I don't know. For me, turkey's not my favorite. I'm much more geared towards like Latin food. I am there every time. But Turkish, I mean, there's some things that I like, but there's a lot of things that I'm just not into. Or, yeah. So that's been something interesting. But I love, love, love exploring this, this, this beautiful city. Um, and there's many different, completely different parts. Again, when it comes to finding a place to live in a country, look for where the locals live. That's where, that's, that's where I've been living. I most of the time don't live where the tourists live. I live where the locals live. And, uh, even in Colombia, I was living in a, in a, in a place where locals were living, not many tourists. And you find that those places are much cheaper. They're not as 
I'm not really into the touristy attractions, although I do like going to them, but it's just, I like to immerse myself with the locals. I like to immerse myself with the local culture. I want to learn more about the local culture instead of just, you know, people from around the world experiencing Turkey. So that has been a really cool part is being able to live in a area that locals live. And so that has, that has made me really happy. Uh, but I mean, there's so many memories. There was a group of 12 of us from, from the space that went on a ferry that was like an hour away. And we went to a place called Prince's Island. And at Prince's Island, it's this beautiful island where we walked for an hour and a half in nature. And a, we came up to a, a cliff on the ocean side to watch the sun set. I mean, sometimes I really be living my life and it feels like a movie. That, where there's background music, where, honestly, since I've left, my life has felt like a movie. Like every day, there's just something that happens that is just like, how, what, where, huh? And again, this would not be possible without the amazing people that I've met, that my amazing friends that I have, the support that I have in my, my family and my friends and even the incredible clientele that I have, the business that I've been building for over three years. This has just been quite an extraordinary journey. And I'm sure with the last remaining days that I'm here, there'll be even more memories in Turkey that I will cherish forever. <sighs> I am unexpectedly going home. There's just an opportunity to go home that I honestly didn't expect. I was gonna keep on traveling and, well, I'll talk about it in the next video about what I plan to do next. But yes, year one of Digital Nomad Journey. So I'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about what's next on the digital nomad journey, uh, the things that I've really learned and oh, I love Turkey. <laughs> so remember to be brave, to be bold and to be who you're meant to be. Ciao. See you in the next one.